In this equation, we have KClO3 decomposing here. This will happen if you do this at high temperatures without a catalyst. If you keep heating it up, then the KCl4, that'll decompose as well. Let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. One potassium, one chlorine, and three oxygen atoms. Product side, one potassium. Don't forget this here. It's another one. That gives us two potassiums. We have one chlorine plus the one chlorine here gives us two and then four oxygens. Let's balance the potassium and the chlorine first. If we put a two here, one times two, that'll give us two, one times two, two there, three times two, that'll give us six. Everything's balanced except the oxygen. And this is a bit of a problem here because if I put a two here, then I would have eight and six. That doesn't work. What I need to find is something that both of these numbers go into, give me a whole number. It looks like 12 would work for that. So we could change our coefficient here to 4. And we have 1 times 4. That'll give us 4 potassiums. 1 times 4. 4 chlorines. 3 times 4. That gives us 12 oxygens. On this side over here, now I could put a 3 in front of the KClO4. Let's update these numbers. So now I have one times three plus the one here. That gives me four. Potassiums are balanced. One times three, that gives me three plus the other chlorine here. Chlorines are balanced. Four times three, that gives me 12. Oxygens are balanced. So this equation is now balanced. So a bit of a difficult equation to balance in some ways, but we have our coefficients, four, three, one. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KClO3 yields KClO4 plus KCl. Thanks for watching.